Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is why you use that. Yep, I'm going for board. Oh. Good shot. I think this is the first time I've ever seen John not be a big. It's weird to see him out there at like 6'3. I like it. Ooh. Big finish. Hey everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Brian Anderson with you, Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill joining now the opening lineup for the Portland Trailblazers. Thibel and Grant are at the forward spots. Then it's DeAndre Ayton, then it's Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Prez in at the two. And for the Clippers, Westbrook and George manning the backcourt. Leonard and Batum, the duo at forward. And it's Zubats in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. One thing each of these teams can do is pass the rock, Grant. We should see a lot of ball movement tonight. Hey, sharing is caring. And of course, there's great chemistry on both teams. There's such a flow to this game when they get together. And we're going to see some terrific team basketball tonight. I can't wait. Here's Prez. Misses the three. Westbrook taking his time here. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on. Malcolm Brogdon. This Clipper squad is quite the mix of players, Doris. Potentially the mix to make a run. I mean, certainly you need seasoned veterans that can still get it done and young guys who can contribute. They've got both of those things and incredible depth. For the Clippers, to me, it's about one thing. How healthy are your stars? That free throw, no good. Well, looking back, it wasn't too long ago, Grant. The Blazers had an eight-year playoff streak. NBA, that's no easy task. Some great years, but couldn't get over the hump. Now I think it's time to reset and build around their youth. Here's Prez. George defending. Here's Aiton. Played it in with a nice DeAndre touch Aiden. off the window. Well, we're talking about a big-time rebounder. DeAndre Ayton's timing excellent. Westbrook outside. Pass to Batum. Here's Leonard. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Last time they met in Los Angeles, where they beat the Clippers. Last time these teams met, well, it came down to the wire. A bench play in that game was the difference. Yeah, I don't think they win without the productivity they got from their bench. That made the difference. And here are the Trailblazers now. Pass to Prez. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. It's rebounded by Zubats. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's not a shot he should be taking. Well, it's hard to imagine that the play was designed to go in that direction. Boy, I'd be surprised if we see that again. Here's George. Clock at six. From outside, off the mark. Portland has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Bible passes to Prez. Outside for Grant. Brockton against Batum. Pass to Prez. Beyond the arc. The Trailblazers rebound. Not going to go that time. For Los Angeles, they've gone one for three so far. Westbrook against Thibel. The offensive rebound. Boy, just one for four. A little brisky right now. Here's Prez. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Back to Grant. Pass to Prez. Five to shoot. The three is up. He can't get that one to fall. And George with some nice D. Boy, at some point you've got to realize there might be a better option standing next to you. This guy has not made one basket in this period. Timeout called Portland. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding... He's deciding to change it up. Oh, 
Leonard on the wing. George outside. Pass to Westbrook. The two outside. Just five on the clock. For three, George. It's rebounded by Grant. Grant's got his fourth rebound in this one. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. Thibel and Grant are at the forward spots. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. And it's Prez in at the shooting guard position. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Trailblazers? Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. Number three, first personal foul. First team. Here's Westbrook. He picked up 15 in their last win against Oklahoma City. And don't forget the sensational plays he made out there. He saw the court so well, firing perfect passes to teammates for wide open shots. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. The three. It's rebounded by Zubac. Zubac has got four rebounds now. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. Here's Prez. No good with the triple. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for the Trailblazers. Trailing by two. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Inglewood, designed to give fans every comfort, and the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rows. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, you better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Alley. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. Here's Prez. Two minutes 20 minutes points for him last game against the Warriors in San Francisco. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. George has the open look. George with another miss. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. And Aiden gets it to go. Now we're starting to see him deliver on offense. He's really found his tempo here in the second quarter. Thibel against Leonard. Fires from 14. And Aiden pulls it down. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Here's Grant. Rejected by George. That's just staying with your man, anticipating what he's thinking, and great instincts on the block for Paul George. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And Grant, this season, the Blazers adding a G League affiliate in North Portland. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the second-to-last team to do it. And the Suns next season will make it 30 for 30. Now there's... George, he's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Clippers. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. We'll be right back with you shortly. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Paul George with a strong contribution so far in this one. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense. Oh, and that's how he likes Number it. Three. And one would expect Second that the defense made foul. some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. 
On the perimeter, it's the talented duo of George and Kawhi. It's Batum at the power forward with Zubats at center. And it's Westbrook in at the one. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Pass to Leonard. Six to shoot. Over Tyler. Perry from 15 feet out. Leonard's got his second bucket. Well, the mid-range is certainly the area that he is most comfortable. Kawhi Leonard, that's where he started, folks. Here's Prez. Sends it home three. from three-point land. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Brogdon against Westbrook. Brogdon, the pass to Prez. Well, Doris, looking at the pace of the game now, that has to be a big factor in load management. B.A., there's no doubt that the game is more spread out and it's played at a faster pace. So much, though, goes into that load management discussion that is so volatile at times. Here are the facts, though. People are more aware because of the data we have from medical science that the season is challenging. And so teams are going to manage their greatest resource, which is the players, carefully. Load management is not going anywhere. Westbrook, the pass to Zubat. And Aiden pulls it down. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Here's Grant. Good setup. Led him to the rack Here's perfectly for the layup. Number three. Grant's got his second bucket of the night. Well, this is why Jeremy Grant's size is important. Stretches out beautifully whenever he's close to the rack. Here's Zubats. Portland grabs the miss. They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home. That game starts a nice five-game homestand for him. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Number three at the line for two. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Yep, count it. George has got four points this quarter. You've allowed Paul George to lock in and get his rhythm. Now you better start to stop him. Brogdon, the pass to Prez. Down low. Zubac with the steal. George, right side. That's a very quick point for him in that possession. George has got 17. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Portland calls timeout. All right, Grant, talking about Ibiza Zubat. What do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. They lead by four. And on the floor for Portland here in the fourth. They've got Shaden Sharp. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Jeremy Grant. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Prez in a two-guard. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the board. The three. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got eight rebounds in the game. And George with the basket on the assist by Westbrook. George has got 19 points. We are talking about a proficient, efficient scorer in Paul George. Go to work, sir. Here's Sharp. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Well, the Clippers shooting a fantastic 57%. Looking around with the 10-footer and too long on the shot. 
Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Sure. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Here's George. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. This is a case where it's just the pure strength of Paul George, able to fight through contact so well on these shots. Thibel, he's checked in for Portland. Brogdon, the pass to Prez. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Hits the trifecta. After hitting nothing from downtown in the first half, that's his second make sense. George outside. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his third assist of the night. Well, Russ making the great read. Outstanding work, understanding the floor, and finding his open teammate. Brogdon, the pass to Graham. George with a steal. And it's the Clippers on the break. Leonard for three. And Aiden pulls it down. Hayton's got 14 rebounds tonight, going after it. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. When Jeremy Grant is dishing out an assist, that is a great sign for this team. Westbrook, the pass to Zubats. Ooh, Aiton with the block. Out of bounds. And so the ball out of bounds. Aiton tucks it last. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. George for three, sinks the tray. George has got ten points now, just in this quarter. These are the shots we have come to expect from Paul and George. This guy is cold-blooded. Timeout called, Portland. All right, timeout present our new balance player of the game, Paul George. He has truly put on a show out there tonight. Tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Portland has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Brogdon, the pass to Prez. Pass to Graham. And here's Thibel. Back to Grant. Here's Prez. George defending. Down to five on the shot clock. The three ball. Two minutes remaining in the game. Rebound by the Clippers. Leonard's got four rebounds now. Now here's Westbrook. Guarded by Brogdon. From the wing. Westbrook with the miss. Portland trailing here. To the left side wing. To the middle. Grant the pass to Brogdon. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. To the wing on the left. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. George outside. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fourth assist in this one. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Clippers. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers and then scoring on the other end. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Here's George. Misses the layup. Boy, surprise team missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Oh, DeAndre Hayden is engaged. He's focused and he delivers a clutch bucket. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. It's a three-point game. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. So Paul George is locked in right now. Big-time shots demonstrate his elite level in the NBA. Pass to Prez. There's 39 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Grant. Batum pulls it in. Well, tremendous defense of that work on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. Second team 
A chance here to possibly put the game away. Oh, they have to remain focused to get it done. And that's an intentional foul. Hit the line for your quick. Paul George. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. When health has been there for Paul George, he has been one of the great two-way guys in the league. Very capable scorer and can take on tough assignments. 24 seconds left in the final quarter. And connects Three from points. downtown. We've got 22 seconds left to the fourth. And so they foul intentionally. Malcolm Brogdon. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for LA, Russell West. So the first one drops. And that increases the lead to six. This guy is not only incredibly talented, but Russell Westbrook has been a Portland tireless worker, almost obsessive in improving his craft. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. And the Trailblazers call time here. They're losing by seven. Twelve seconds left in the fourth. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. At the line for your Clippers, Russell Westbrook. First free throw is good, and that puts him up five. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. Oh, the trifecta! It feels like Malcolm Brockton, with every repetition, turns that passing from excellent to elite. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're in front by three. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter. Five ticks left in the game. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. The team is in the penalty. At the line for two, Norman Powell. He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Norman Powell has found his way to a big spot and knock in a big free throw. So the Clippers win it. And I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory. It wins a win. And, and so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team's energy high. And that about wraps it up. More Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke. I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone.